Howdy! How we doing, Boomerites? I'm back. Good to see you. I hope everybody had a lovely Christmas and will have a happy new year. It's good to be back. Apologize for the uh, wait, but when I put out that community post, I encountered all kinds of problems that I had to deal with. So I had to put everything on hold once again, but now everything should be running smooth. This is my first reaction video with where almost everything that I wanted for the new setup is here. So this is a good day. Um, hope you all had a lovely Christmas. And right now, we're going to start off getting back into the reactions with some Black Adder. This was submitted by Mr. Robot. So Mr. Robot, how you doing? Uh, this one is called Black Adder Goes Forth. So it looks like it's from... I remember somebody saying in the comments before, this is from the season where they did like a version of World War One. So this should be interesting. And um, yeah, I haven't done a lot of Black Adder clips. So this is going to be fun. Remember, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Um, in the future, be on the lookout for some uh, streams that are going to look pretty cool. Those shouldn't be ready till February or March, though. But in the near future, I'm going to try to get the Queen down and get the Inbetweeners movie reaction done within the week for you guys. So that should be fun. We also have to do the Father Ted Christmas special because we've had some busy stuff going on, folks. But anyway, let's get in some Black Adder and get some laughs in. So here we go, folks. What do you want, darling? <laughs> it's Captain, darling, to you. General Melchett wants to see you about a highly important secret mission. What's going on, darling? Captain Blackadder to see you, sir. Ah, excellent. Just a short back and side today, I think, please. Uh, yes, That's Corporal Black, sir. Captain Blackadder is here about the other matter, sir, the secret matter. Ah, yes, the special mission. At ease, Blackadder. Now, what I'm about to tell you is absolutely tip-top secret. Is that clear? It is, sir. Now, I've compiled a list of those with security clearance. Have you got it, darling? Yes, sir. Read it, please. It's top security, sir. I think that's all the captain needs to know. Judge Schutz, let's hear the list in full. Very well, sir. List of personnel cleared for Mission Gainsborough, as dictated by General C.H. Melchett. You and me, darling, obviously. <laughs> Field Marshal Haig, Field Marshal Haig's wife, all Field Marshal Haig's wife's friends, <laughs> their families, their family servants, their family servants' tennis partners, <laughs> and some chap I bumped into in the mess the other day called Bernard. <laughs> so... It's maximum security, is that clear? <laughs> Quite clear, sir. Only myself and the rest of the English-speaking world is to know. Good man. Now. I love that dude's mustache, by the way. Uh, Cousin Boomer, if you're watching this, you need a mustache just like that. That's the one you need to get around to growing, my friend. Field Marshal Haig has formulated a brilliant new tactical plan to ensure final victory in the field. Ah, well, this brilliant plan involve us climbing out of our trenches and walking very slowly towards the enemy, sir. <laughs> How could you possibly know that, Blackadder? It's classified information. <laughs> it's the same plan that we used last time, and the 17 times before that. E e exactly! And that is what is so brilliant about it. It will catch the watchful Hun totally off guard. Doing precisely what we've done 18 times before is exactly the last thing they'll expect us to do this time. There is, however, one small problem. That everyone always gets slaughtered in the first 10 seconds. That's right. And Field Marshal Haig is worried that this may be depressing the men attached. So, he's looking to find a way to cheer them up. Well, his resignation and suicide would seem the obvious. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say. Uh, resignation and suicide. Oh, man. Interesting thought. Make a note of it, darling. <laughs> Take a look at this. I'm sure you know it. King and Country. Ah, yes. Without question, my favorite magazine. Soft, strong, and thoroughly absorbent. <laughs> Top Elberg, Edda. Now, I thought it would be right up your alley. Now, Oh, 
Uh, yeah, this is a this is a much better Black Adder clip. Some of you guys have been saying like you know you got to watch the entire show, but you know it's hard to get a hold of entire shows. And the second thing is you know I want to see clips before I commit to anything, so that's the thing. So. Field Marshal Haig's plan is this to commission a man to do an especially stirring painting for the cover of the next issue, so as to really inspire the men for the final push. What I want you to do, Black Adam, is to labor night and day to find a first-rate artist from amongst your men. Impossible, sir. I know from long experience that my men have all the artistic talent of a cluster of colorblind hedgehogs <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> Why was that so funny to me? That little hesitation in, in a bag. From long experience that my men have all the artistic talent of a cluster of colorblind hedgehogs <laughs> in a bag. Mm. Well, that's a bit of a blur. We needed a man to leave the trenches immediately. Leave the trenches? Mm. <laughs> yes. I wonder if you've enjoyed, as I have, sir, that marvelous painting in the National Portrait Gallery, Bag Interior. By the colorblind hedgehog workshop of Siena. I'm sorry, are you saying you can find us a man? I think I can. And might I suggest, sir, that having left the trenches, it might be a good idea to post our man to Paris in order to soak up a little of the artistic atmosphere, perhaps even Tahiti, I don't know. <laughs> so as to produce a real masterpiece. Yes, yes, but can you find the man? Now I know I can, sir. Before you can say sunflowers, I'll have Vincent van Gogh standing before you. <laughs> oh, that's Hugh Laurie. No, no, don't stop saying it. It's coming. It's definitely coming. I... Yeah. <laughs> I just wonder whether two socks and a hand grenade is really the sort of thing that covers a king and country are made of. They will be when I've painted them being shoved up the Kaiser's backside. <laughs> ah, now, now, this is interesting. What is? Well, Private Baldrick is obviously a bit of an impressionist. The only decent impression he can do is of a man with no talent. <laughs> What's it called, Baldrick? The Vomiting Cavalier? Yeah, that was pretty good. I like that one. I think I just like the idea of the uh, World War I season. That sounds very appealing to me in a comedic setting. Yeah, I really want to see that particular season. But there's also one in, like, you know, the Renaissance period of England. I don't know. You guys always tell me. I forget. I've been so focused on other things, I forget what... Uh, somebody put out a list, but I can't remember what the list said, what each season's about. But this season... I think I reacted to one Black Adder clip before from this season. I really liked it, too. So maybe I'll just start with this season since everybody says skip season one. Skip season one, Boomer! We all hate it! You know. But then again, you might need context from season one. I don't know. It's all very confusing. But thank you, Mr. Robot, for submitting that. And it's good to be back, folks. Remember... Good things coming in the future. Um, this channel should be wired nice and tight by then. So anyway, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. And well, you can't have a Happy New Year yet. It's day one. <laughs> Idiot boomer. But uh, it's glad to be back and it's glad to see you guys again. All right. Post in the comments to let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.